Hello, in this session we evaluate the reactions of the solvate process, the process which has been described as large-scale manufacture of sodium carbonate. Okay. Now, to manufacture sodium carbonate, we saw that uh, we need a brine solution, which is concentrated sodium chloride, ammonia gas obtained in the shadow process, limestone or coke, uh, which is used to produce carbon dioxide, and water which is used as a solvent. To begin with, in the solvent process, uh, we introduce brine solution which is called sodium chloride. Now that is brine. Now when brine solution is introduced in the absorption chamber, it meets ammonia gas in the presence of water which is trickling down from uh, the roots of the absorption chamber. The water has a purpose of dissolving the reaction mixture and when the process occurs, ammonium brine is formed. Ammonium brine is a mixture of ammonium hydroxide and sodium chloride as shown here. Now once the ammonium brine has formed, remember when brine solution was introduced in the absorption chamber in the presence of ammonia and water, the main reaction which occurred was between ammonia dissolving in water, forming ammonia hydroxide, and the conic brine solution was simply rendered aqueous. It has not so far reacted but has been rendered aqueous. The next step after formation of ammonia brine is the transfer into the carbonate. The carbonate receives carbon dioxide from uh, the kiln or the furnace and the role of the carbon dioxide is to oxidize the ammonia brine into the required subsidiary agents for the production of sodium carbonate. Let's see what happens in the carbonate now. The ammonium hydroxide composing part of the ammonia brine meets carbon dioxide to form ammonium hydrogen carbonate. Remember, it is in mixture with the unreacted sodium chloride. Now, once the ammonium hydrogen carbonate has been formed, it comes into contact with the unreacted sodium chloride and triggers a new reaction, which is a displacement process that leads to the formation of sodium hydrogen carbonate. Sodium being more reactive than ammonia, displaces ammonia from ammonium hydrogen carbonate to form sodium hydrogen carbonate and precipitate ammonium chloride. In this process, we find that there are two agents which have been produced, solid sodium hydrochloride and aqueous ammonium chloride. We need to separate the two, and that is why we have the filtration chamber. At the filter chamber, we introduce the filtration process, which is simply uh, a semi-permeable layer material of paper or mainly of a clothing which has pores in it and can allow the passage of solution but not allow the passage of solids. Now during the filter process by the filter surface of a uh, blending material we find that the sodium hydrogen carbonate is obtained as a residue while the ammonium chloride which is in liquid form passes through the front surface forming uh, the filtrate. Now, the main agent required for the production of sodium carbonate is the sodium hydrogen carbonate, which is sodium bicarbonate in the other uh, description. Now, we take the sodium hydrogen carbonate or sodium bicarbonate and heat it exclusively at very high temperatures, roughly 300 degrees Celsius. What happens is that it decomposes readily into a sodium carbonate, CO2, and H2. Now, sodium carbonate is the required product. What then do we do with the CO2 and H2O? Well, CO2, as seen earlier, was required in the carbonator. So we refer it to the carbonator by a recycling process. Water, as stated earlier, is required in the slicking chamber for dissolving heat line. So it is transferred there. And therefore, we can say that we have two byproducts in this uh, leading processes which are recycled, namely carbon dioxide and water. Remember, the survey process is made up of six core chambers. However, the main reactions happen in the absorption chamber, the carbonator, and the filtration chamber. 
after this we will see the roasting happens which may be done outside any channel and then to enable the process to continue spatially we have three other chambers uh, one is the furnace otherwise known as a kiln the role of the furnace is to produce sufficient heat which is used for decomposing limestone or uh, for the synthesis of coke with oxygen to form carbon dioxide therefore the role of uh, the kiln or the furnace is mainly to produce carbon dioxide by either decomposing calcium carbonate or by combustion on coke next we have the slaker uh, the slaker is simply an absorption chamber in which quick lime obtained from the kiln is hydrolyzed into lime water and the main role of the lime water is for reproduction of ammonia gas at the generator and therefore we find that there are two byproducts which are transferred to the generator first is the ammonium chloride obtained as a filtrate in the filter chamber and the second is lime water obtained as a byproduct in the hydrolysis of quicklime when the lime water and ammonium chloride are transferred to the generator the reaction which occurs there is a precipitation process which leads to the formation of ammonia gas calcium chloride and water the ammonia gas is used as a recycling agent back to the absorption chamber which is the main chamber for the synthesis of brine solution and ammonia to form the ammonia called brine and therefore we find that the final process leads to the formation of calcium chloride which is not used again in the process and will be rendered waste otherwise calcium chloride has other uses as a dehydrating agent in other chemical processes and therefore these are the descriptive texts for the main reactions in the solvent process the process for the lysis manufacture of sodium carbonate a substance which is used in the manufacture of glass manufacture of uh, water softener a manufacture of bleaching agents for paper bags industry and even the manufacture of uh, synthetic fiber such as silk thank you very much these are the description of the solvent process the process for the large scale manufacture of sodium carbonate